After years and years of long and faithful service. Yep, it's about time for it. When Mac OS Ventura came into play, so did the continuity camera, which pretty much just allows you to use your iPhone as a webcam for the Mac, which understandably got people into a bit of a tizzy because it allows you to finally cancel uh this. Honestly, for a while, I was just thinking of using the continuity camera because I have a surplus of iPhones, but I guess you know what I did in the end. After long and deep contemplation and thinking, hmm, should I replace this webcam? Should I just use the default? I was like, nah, I'm gonna get Insta360 Link. All right, so let's talk about this webcam and why it's a good choice. It's an absolute powerhouse. The thing shoots in 4K unlike most webcams. Huge sensor, background blur, etc. And it also has all these crazy features, which I think are incredibly cool and just allow you to really up the level of like pretty much everything it is that you're doing just like that. Because I'm also a content creator, I really appreciate the fact that I can just go right ahead and make use of the camera that's right on my computer and then use that in order to record a high quality video, something that I can't really do with the MacBook Pro camera. Yep, so this entire video is filmed on a mixture of the Insta360 link as well as on the continuity cameras. But I think that there are some meaningful differences that you'll probably want to consider when you're recording with these things. I think it's better for you to see for yourself though, so here's a video and microphone quality comparison. I'm comparing this side by side with essentially the iPhone as well as the Insta360 link right here and you'll also get a sense of how the audio sounds on these different microphones as well. First right here on the iPhone and then next basically on the Insta360 link. So you can compare those right there and you can tell maybe if there's a distinction in quality. At least personally I don't really think that there is really a distinction all that much and I would just use the camera that's just more convenient for me. But with the iPhone, well, if I'm out and about then it's natural what I'm going to pick, right? Because that's basically the camera that's in my pocket like all the time. It's just that when it comes to a talking hit desktop type situation, like the sort where I would actually be making a video right there, it's not immediately clear to me that iPhone is the best possible choice. There are some common features though. Both the iPhone's continuity camera as well as the Insta360 link are capable of tracking motion. So with the iPhone on continuity camera, basically the motion tracking would happen via center stage. With the iPhone, it's exploiting the fact that it has a wide field view, right? To track where I am. But with the Insta360 link, that's a little bit different because what's happening is that it is literally turning around via the gimbal system. So those are very different technologies right here. They have a bit of a different FOV. On the left side of the screen, we have the Insta360 link and on the right side, we have portrait mode on the iPhone's continuity camera. So let's see what happens when we move all the way in. And you can clearly see that what's happening right there is that Insta360 keeps in the frame, while at the same time, the iPhone has most decidedly lost me. So generally, I guess, if you intend to move around quite a fair bit in the middle of, for example, a presentation, then I would go with the Insta360 link. But there's a caveat to that though. If you want the freedom of being able to carry your phone around and point it at basically different objects, then perhaps an iPhone might be a little bit better. All right, next feature, desk view. What's also cool about both of these cameras is that they have the ability to essentially display what's on your desk at the moment. And you can basically do that inside the desk view mode in the Insta360 Link controller. So right there, you can see, and boom. It showcases pretty much everything that's on the desk. CC can do the same thing, again, via the ultra-wide camera on the iPhone. It is basically, again, taking that sick, sick feel of view and basically displaying everything under the sun right there. With respect to clarity, I think that the Insta360 link is significantly more clear as compared to the iPhone's desk view, mainly because the camera literally turns. It points downwards rather than what you have with the iPhone, in which basically it just takes a subsection of the ultra-wide view, so resolution is going to drop a little bit. It's also rather difficult to control because you need to adjust the position of the phone in order to get a feel of view that you actually need. Whereas with the link, it's a single one-touch operation and you can even use your mouse to navigate the camera so that it can go up up, down, and in any direction that you need. So if you're looking for something that allows you to write clearly and it's important for you that everything is shown in a legible way, then I would go for the Insta360 over just using the continuity camera itself. By now, you're probably wondering to yourself, should I spend $350 on a brand new webcam or should I maybe just get an iPhone instead? Well, the answer to that question is, it depends. 
mean, maybe if you don't have an iPhone already, then you might want to essentially go ahead and commit into the Apple ecosystem. So maybe you don't want to get both an iPhone and an Insta360 link. But if you already have an iPhone and you're considering now getting a brand new webcam, in order for me to address that, let me go right ahead and tell you about some of the other features that essentially the Insta360 link has that the iPhone does not. So there are three main things. The first of which is basically you get gimbal control by essentially just the mouse right here. If you go ahead and you click essentially on the screen whenever you're using the Insta360 Link app and you kind of move it around right there, then you actually get to shift essentially the camera around and you can pan it, tilt it, and basically do whatever it is. No need to adjust the camera physically. Another thing that essentially you can see right here on the right of the screen, the Insta360 link also allows you to change the exposure. Uh, you can also choose an auto setting as well. And you can actually also change factors like essentially the brightness. Then you can change the contrast. Ooh, whoa. So then you can change the saturation if you want. Uh, and also the sharpness of the image. You've also got some saveable presets if you are really interested in customizing the way that you actually look right here, so great for content creators. Another thing right here is essentially that you've got hand gestures. So this is a really big selling point, I think. So if I use the palm right here, then what happens is that essentially the camera ends up tracking me. So then if I move around right there, then essentially it will track me, it will track me. By changing essentially your gestures right here, you can actually activate and you can stop essentially the tracking, whatever it is that you want right here. And also another thing that you have right here is a little bit zoom. Like for example, if I have this L right here, I can literally just zoom in and also zoom out at the same time. And it just makes it possible to do hands-free operation and also to change the flow of a presentation in a way that I want without essentially missing a beat. For those of you who teach online like I do, so there's a mode that's called whiteboard mode, which is pretty convenient for you. When you turn your fingers into a V, basically what happens is that the camera is going to automatically point at a whiteboard that's located behind you with the aid of these stickers that basically come in the box. So the general idea is that you can essentially just move this whiteboard wherever it is that you want right here, and then the stickers essentially allow the camera to align itself so that essentially everything that you're writing will always be in focus. And that's just really convenient for educators, especially if you want to write something on the board so that your students can actually see what's going on right there. Overall, do I recommend Link over the continuity camera? I would say absolutely yes. I don't think that every single person in the world will need the Insta360 link, especially if you already have an iPhone, but I believe that the features that you get essentially along with this camera right here are definitely worth it. It's not to say that continuity camera is bad, it's a wonderful feat of technological innovation, especially if you're already integrated into the Apple ecosystem as I am, but if you're looking for something that really allows you to level up your content creation and also online video conferencing game, then I think that the Insta360 link will be the perfect addition to your household this season. As always, if you'd like to support this channel at no extra cost to you, just go right ahead and use the link in the description to buy your link. Alright, cheers. Alright, so thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you in the next video.